Right, let's just get ready for the final battle. Not that I'm too worried about them. They're pretty easy. Crap. Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is King Kong Veal, and I'm back in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Last episode, I was able to almost get up to Clan Tier 2, really, really close, where I'll be able to start being a vassal. i able to complete, establish my clan, so I'm going to get my family back, and I completed the Nitz's Folly. I also did a bunch of, um, finished up a bunch of the smithing uh so i've got some really good two-handed weapons now and i recruited a couple of companions before we continue i did want to mention that i did add a couple of mods to this playthrough so i added encyclopedia filters expanded and encyclopedia extender reforged and the main reason why i did that is i want to be able to see what people have a little bit better um yeah I, I i just want to be able to see this a little bit better i think it's gonna be a little bit more enjoyable for me on my side of things so today i want to head over here to this hideout i'll rescue my family i'll head to marnoth and Epicodia to talk to the people about the uh uh the quests where is it quests and then probably join the Batanians as a vassal, and hopefully we can go to war with uh, the Sturgeons, and I can knock on wood. Hopefully, get uh, Sanon and maybe like some of these castles up here, Uthlim, Flintog, maybe that one as well. You know, if I could get a, a good swath here, that would be be awesome. First, I need to get my family back. Let's go do that. I have a few things to say before we attack. We have to be clever. He is a cunning fellow in a low and base kind of way. I defeated you before. I know your how your gang operates. Less talking, more raiding. Come on. That you did. That you did. Lead on then. Alright, let me... I pick off this guy. All right. Come on.
Okay. That was easy enough. I killed seven of them. And no one got damaged. And I just gotta kill this guy. Bastards. You're the kid of my captives, right? I saw Radagos with ya. You know he can't be trusted. You let us here. Where are my brothers and sister? Nah, there's no more talking. Kill me or I'll kill you. That's how this ends. I'll do you the honor of dueling you, and my men will stand down if you win. Very well. I'll duel you. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Honk. Oh, gained a lot of charm there. Nice. I'm up to 41 in charm. He says, look, okay, we can still talk. I'll give you a patch of silver. Huh. You said talking was a waste of time. You are Radagos' property now. Uh, Radagos is going to chop oh, off his head. Great Evan. Damn, brother. Nothing can stop you. I love you, brother. I'm so glad to see you're safe. Is everyone okay? Yes, we are all fine. The little ones are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. I'll take them to the nearest fortress immediately. They will be safe there. Meet me there later, when you're ready to tell me everything. Okay, brother. Be careful. Take care. As I leave the hideout, Radagos comes to me and asks to talk. Looks like we've gotten your kin back to you. So my end of our deal is complete. I'll be making myself scarce now. Don't let your conscience bother you about letting me go, by the way. I won't get back into slaving. Burn too many bridges with my old colleagues, you might say. I'll find some other way to earn my keep. Mercenary work, perhaps. Anyway, maybe our paths will cross again. Hmm. Maybe. Goodbye, Radagost. Let's talk to Arzagos. Hi. Sorry, I don't think I know you. My name is Kong Vil, or I am Kong Vil, and you are? You probably are or, who are you? I am Arzagos. I am not sure why you have sought me out, but know that my old life as an Imperial lapdog is over. So, who are you, and what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calredius. Is that true? Well, that is interesting. You may have one piece of the banner. But it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other parts. But once you can bring together the pieces, you'll have something of tremendous value. How so? The banner of Caradios is part of a legend. It was said to be carried by Caradios the Great, who first led his people to this land to conquer and despoil. The legend says that no army led by a true son of Caradios shall be defeated in battle. Convenient legend, eh? Of course, the Calradians have been defeated many times, but I guess those were not true sons. Still, you could say it represents the strength and endurance of this empire. So, can you help me find a buyer for it? A buyer? What? I can help you do far more than that. So, where can I find the other pieces? Before I answer, you and I need to know more about each other. I don't know what you know about me. I was a citizen of the Empire, I was a commander in the Imperial armies, but I am not Imperial. I am what they call Palaic. Palaic is a language that is no longer spoken, except by a few old people. Even the word Palaic is Imperial. We are people who have forgotten who we are. The Empire has a genius for destruction. The destruction of languages, traditions, gods. It takes our fortresses slaughters our men and turns our children into its own children. Nothing can bring the Palaic people back. They are now Imperial, but it is an insult to our name, to our gods, to our memory, that the state which destroyed our shrines and fortresses should last and thrive. I have vowed that this empire shall not survive this civil war if I can do anything to stop it. And believe me, if I had that banner, there is very much something I could do. I too would see the Empire destroyed. And I'll tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. 
When you have recovered all pieces, return to me, and I'll help you put them to use. So, let's see. Is the Batania at war with anyone? The Northern and the Western Empire. Okay. Well, um, that's not great. Um, do this instead. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to find my brother, start a new party. Not unlimited wages. I'll give you 200 and be defensive. I wanted to meet Karen. I think I saw her just out here. Yours is not a face I know. Yeah, I'm Kongville. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Might be a potential bride for me, so wanted to go ahead and meet her. Ooh, a lot of skills going on there. Oh, my. Siblings. Okay. Alright. Um, what do I want these people to do? What do I want my siblings to do? Hmm. They're cunning four. I make a decent scout. If I give her... Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll have my siblings be um, party leaders or something. Like I am with my brother. I'll need to get intelligence and uh, steward up among various other things. Uh, give her the art of healing and medicine and steward. Sweet. All right, and my brother. Uh, thirst for knowledge. Uh, let's see, pull arm, hunting or tactics. Steward, engineering, leadership. Steward. And he got some charm. Okay. So I know I need to do all the stuff. I don't need to do all this stuff with my brother. I used to have to um, sign all the uh, perks and skills and everything for your brother. But I guess that's changed and you don't have to do that anymore. Interesting, interesting. But I got 50 athletics. So let's see. Form fitting armor or fury. Uh, form fitting armor. Got a little bit of money. We're at war with a bunch of people that I don't really want to be at war with. So I think. These are mountain bandits. Maybe I'll go ahead and just hit this here. Maybe I'll just work to uh, assemble the. Um, what's it called? The, the dragon banner. Let's just send them. I'll see if I can go ahead and pick some guys off before they arrive. I don't want to necessarily put my guys at risk, but not too much risk. Not that I'm too worried about him. I don't want 
shoot my guys. Right, let's just get ready for the final battle. My guys can take care of them all. There's not that many of them. They're pretty easy. That was easy enough. Now, let's see if I can get this guy this time. I'm not gonna. Cool. Let's just kill him. There we go. Unfortunately, I didn't capture the bandit boss. I killed him. That's too bad. But you know what? Oh, well. Go. And I found the second piece of the dragon banner of Calradius. Very nice. Alright, let's head up to Epicrodia. Talk to what's her name. And get the last piece. Tannies are not doing well. Maranoth is being sieged. Xanon's being sieged by someone. Who are they at war with? Belandia. Hmm. Yes. Let's talk to this person. I'm Istiana. You probably already know that, though. Once I wielded great power, but now... I'm most curious what you might want with me. So, what brings you to me? I believe I have a piece of the Dragon Banner of Calradius. Is that true? Yeah, I actually have two pieces. You may have one piece of the banner, but it's of little use in itself. You'll have to find the other piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. banner of Calradius is part of a legend. They say it was carried by Calradius the Great as he led his small band of exiles into this land to make a new home for themselves. They say that so long as it is carried by a true son of Calradius, he shall never be defeated in battle. Or a daughter, I imagine. Although that has never come up. Of course, our glorious armies have been defeated many times. But I guess those commanders and emperors were not true sons. Clever little legend. A child could see through it if she tried. But of course, people never try to see through the noble lies that bind us together. Thank heaven for that. Yeah, I don't a want to find buyer. a buyer. All right. Bigger than that. Before Where can I, I find the other pieces? I need to know more about your intentions. Let me okay, yeah, yeah, myself. yeah. I was a confidant of the old Emperor Norex's. Officially, I was not his spy master, as I am a woman. But that was the role I played, nonetheless. I liked Norex's, and was very grateful for his trust. But he was not a good Emperor. Too stubborn and principled. I probably should have poisoned him. This is what I learned from a lifetime in politics. There is nothing worse than disorder. Suffice to say that I know better than anyone about the lies and cruelty that kept the Empire alive. But all the murders I ever committed in ten years of serving Norexes do not amount to the death toll in a single hour when an army storms a town. There's nothing special about our Empire. Any one of these petty kings and khans and sultans could probably get lucky and conquer Calradia and do a good a job ruling it as we did. But the point is... We already did it. Our greatest crimes are in the past. Let us not undo what has already been done. 
So, if you intend to use the banner to save the Empire, I'll tell you what I know. But if you want to go backward, not forward, then I will not help you. Sure, of course I intend to use the banner to help save the Empire. Then I will tell you what I know. I have heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you have recovered all the pieces, return to me and I'll help you put them to use. Alright. Well, let's find last piece. Um... That's a really good uh, ride for her, for him. I almost want that ride for myself. Man. Um, yeah, she's great. She's great, yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, 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 sure, I'll accept this. Absolutely. My brother is now married. Congrats, brother. Took out the last of them, so now we just got these three to kill. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna duel them, especially since I'm only, only at like half health. But I did, unfortunately, kill Bandit Boss again. Oh well. That's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. And on the 17th day of autumn 1085, I found a third piece of the dragon banner. I'm ready to unfurl it once again. Assemble the dragon banner. The dragon banner stands tall once again. Pretty cool looking banner. I'm gonna go see who's over here fighting Legion Down Saiyan on. I figured it was Valandia. They're about to get their butts whooped. Let's sit back and watch this uh, battle. They are gonna get crushed. Outnumbered almost three to one. Yeah, it's not gonna go well for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The battle's uh, battle's all but over now.
or taking longer than I expected to die. But come on, can't get that last one. There you go. All right, wanna ransom all my prisoners? I'm thinking now that I've got a little bit of money, I need to work on getting my party a bit bigger. So let's work on that a bit. Yeah, so for the shock troops, I don't know what the best shock troops are. I've got, or what good shock troops are, really. Um, I know the, the Batanian Foxmen aren't bad. I know the Imperial um, Manevolins or whatever they are, they are pretty good. I've heard that the um, Surgeon, uh, the Line Breakers are solid, but I'm not sure. I'll go with the Manevolins since there's just so much. What's it called? Empire lands. I also need some some uh, melee cavalry, and the Imperial Cav and uh, the Blandian Cav are both pretty solid. Um, but again, with the the Imperial having such so much more land, I don't know. Uh, let me see. Let me do a little bit of some searching. All right, so I'm going to go with the Vlandian Banner Knights because of the couchable lamps. I like having that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the uh, Vlandian Banner Knights, the Titanian Fian Champions, the Kuzite Consguard, the Aserai... A veteran infantry and the imperial um, elite Manevolian Manevoliton. That would be my army composition. So let's go grab some uh, some cav. And uh, start loading up my army and getting ready to uh, participate in some of these these battles and wars. All right, so I've got all of the uh, mounted archers that I want for now. Got all of the cav I want for now. Got all the shock future shock troops that I want for now, and all the future. Uh, Shield infantry I want for now, but I want five more uh, archers. Then I think I'll probably, I mean, I can get 15 more troops, but I'm only going to stick with five for now. I mean, I'm already paying a boatload of money. Um, I got to watch that. But it looks like um, my brother fought some bandits. What are you doing all the way over here? Holy crap. I expected him to stay relatively close to where I released him, but no, he's traveled. But that's good. He's uh, actually done some, some good things for me. Well, they also captured the Thractory Castle. They've lost... They've captured those. Legata and Thractory Castle... But they've lost Vernon Castle, Marinoth, Rimtoil Castle, Theanon, Uthlum Castle, Flintog Castle. Oof. I can't remember who starts out with what up here. Man. They've lost a huge swath. Like half of their empire. Half of their kingdom. But. Hopefully I'll be able to help... Get that back soon. Let's see if I can find Caldog and join them. Hey, there's Caldog. My greetings to you. I have something I'd like to discuss. I'd like to enter your service, my lord. I would pledge allegiance to you and be counted among your loyal followers. 
You are known as a brave warrior and a fine leader of men, Kongvil. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service, if you are ready to swear homage to me. I am ready, Caldog. Good. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as faithful king of the Batan faithful high king of the Batanians. The powers of heaven and of earth have entrusted you with the guardianship of this sacred land. I shall stand by your side and not forsake you, and fight until my life leaves my body. I shall heed your judgments and pay you the tribute of that is your due, so that this land may have a strong protector. In exchange for your loyalty, I offer you the command of some of my best men, and in recognition of your worth, let me present you with this gift, which I hope will serve you well in the battlefield. On the 21st day of winter 1085, Kamai joined the High Kingdom of the Batanians. <laughs> All right, very nice, very nice. Let it be known that you are one of the Batanians. You may till our soil and sit in our councils. Who quarrels with you, quarrels with all of us. You have done a wise thing, Kongville. Serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. Thank you, my lord. I have great hopes for you, Kongville. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you. Uh, nope, that's it for now. Um, I actually want to... Start my own army. And... My buddy. All right. Oh, and I gained a level in charm. Uh, twenty percent chance of avoiding critical failure on persuasion. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do that. All right, and yeah, let's see. Who are we at war with? Just the Western Empire. Unfortunately, I'm going to be losing a lot of money, pay tribute and mercenaries, because we're... What? We're getting tribute from... Uh, the Sturgeons? Nice. Unfortunately, we're giving a lot, a whole lot, to Valandia, and a whole lot to the Northern Empire. Alright, there we go. We got five more of those. Uh, though, actually, I need... How many did I need? I need three more. So I need two more. Alright, and let's get those two that are slightly leveled up. All right, so I will get some more um, Tanyan archers when I join the Batanians as a vassal. So I'm not going to recruit those, but I'm going to start heading my way over so that I can join them. And I'll probably fight some on the way over to try to you know work to, to level up some of my guys, especially these Imperial recruits. But I think that's going to be it for this episode today. Did a lot. Um, completed the, the, the Dragon Banner, which is the big deal. Um, also rescued my brother, uh, brothers and sister. And next time I will join the Batanians as a vassal and hopefully work to recapture some of these lands and become landed. Um, I see that we captured... A couple of things down here, which is great, but we have lost a lot up here. It looks like we're going to lose Rimtoll Castle, probably, so we need to, you know, recapture all of this as well. 
If you enjoyed this, please come back in two weeks for the next episode, and be sure to check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of other playthroughs that I think you might enjoy. And if you like survival games, head over to my second channel, Kongville Survives, and join me in some live streams as I play some survival games. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.